Hi, I'm Adam Greentree, and I've got a new audio series called In Pursuit, where I take you through many of my adventures. The series includes soundscapes, so it really immerses you into my shoes. You'll, you'll feel like you're right there with me as I tell the story. It's available now on iTunes and Spotify. On this episode of In Pursuit, I take you back to New Zealand. This one probably sticks in my head as I've had some near-death experiences, but this is, this is one where it was a near-death experience and it lasted way longer than I wanted, so I got to think about a lot of things. The journey had been planned out as good as any trip, and uh, the, the plan was to hike into the Alps again. Um, which I spent two days hiking in and, and getting to the top of the Alps and it was to get a helicopter out because that seems to be the dangerous part in New Zealand, you know. It's one thing to hike up and go so far into the unknown, it's another thing to hike out. So my best laid plans were to hike in and um, have a helicopter organised to lift me off the top of the Alps once I was done and, and back home basically. And the trip was going fine. Um, I had all the right gear this time. I had a, a good helmet, had ice axes, had better crampons, had done a lot of, a lot of practice and training up until that point. And uh, the day that the helicopter was supposed to come in, a weather front that was, that was days away, you know, was pretty much on top of us. I radioed in for the helicopter. There was all this cloud. Um, it was it was raining. There was even times during the morning that they were picking me up. That there was sleet, and I was I was thinking, there's no way a helicopter's coming to pick me up. I'm tent bound. And I remember getting a message on my GPS device that helicopters inbound. So I jumped up in a rush in the morning. Um, I was in that horrible weather, packing up the tent because the last thing you want to do is hold a helicopter up. You know, they lo they like to just land pretty much in a hover position like basically don't even land at all. You've got your backpack and contents, goes in the helicopter, you go in and they take off. So I hopped up, I packed everything up, um, except for a, um, a sleeping mattress, which was bright orange. And I thought, well, you know, at least I'll be able to get their attention with that. Cause I could hardly see 40, 50 meters myself. Sure enough, I'd packed up the afternoon before I'd even like chiseled out a little flat spot on the mountain. Like it's pretty extreme. It's everything's frozen over and snow and ice on everything. I chiseled out a little section, got rid of some ferns and some bushes. So there was a place for the helicopter to land. I could hear the helicopter coming and I could hear it coming up, up the valley. Obviously I can't see it because of the visibility. And I kept thinking like they're below me, they're below me. Cause I'd camped out on a little flat, flat section above a big, big cliffy drop. And uh, I remember I could just see the helicopter lights flashing and um, I'm waving, waving this sleeping mattress. And uh, there was no way they could see me, but I, I think I just done it, been hopeful that they would see it. And uh, I kept thinking they're gonna fly straight into the mountain because they had no visibility. And uh, literally seeing these helicopter lights like directly below me flying straight into the mountain. And then obviously they must've seen what was in front of them and they backed out and they cleared out. But um, at this point, like I'm wet and cold. Like the last thing I want to do is pull all the contents out of my backpack again and set it up. It seemed, at the time, it seemed like the worst idea there was. I, I messaged a friend who had um, some maps and everything like that. He looked at the maps. He was very confident that I would be able to hike out, out of there by dropping down into the creek and out and um, yeah, it seemed pretty good. Like the first couple of hours went well and country eventually got tighter and tighter. It got more extreme and it rained. It was, you know, it kept raining. So the, all the creeks are flowing into that one creek and swelling that creek. And I ended up finding myself in a really bad position where um, I had to make a couple of jumps from rock to rock to get to where I needed to go. And it, look, it looked like a pretty pretty easy jump that I had in front of me. I had to jump off one ledge onto a rock that looked pretty flat. And when I jumped on that rock, it had a slight slope to it, but it had crystal clear ice just over the whole thing. So when I jumped to that rock, my feet just come straight out from underneath me. I ended up landing on my chest and I slid straight backwards. And then the contents of my backpack threw me in a fall backwards and I fell straight on my back into like a freezing glacier melt. I was freezing cold. Um, 
I spent the whole night freezing and um, I actually thought I'd broken my my leg and this arm. I actually had fractured fractured my spine in two places. So I think that's how I end up losing the use of this leg and that arm. And I spent a really cold, cold night on the mountain, freezing cold, and um, I got to think about a lot of things, family and life, and was this the end? And I end up sending out a SOS message to get help. The device failed and um, it left me in a horrible, horrible situation. But um, I did get out of there and uh, I tell you all about that in uh, this episode of In Pursuit in great detail. And uh, this is one of those trips that really makes you the person that you are. And I hope you listen in. It's available on iTunes and Spotify.